Hello my fellow sparklers and welcome to this fun unboxing the Easy Win Christmas Edition Diamond Painting Club box. Uh, I got the artist box just so you know so there's um, there's actually four levels I think um, maybe five so there's a really basic level where you just get like two diamond paintings per month I think that's about $18 um, then there's the member level, which is $50 a month, and you get two diamond paintings and some crafts and uh, a few extras. And then the artist box, which is a little bit more. You, uh, you get three paintings and then a few more crafts and extras. And then there's the master's box, which has, I think, five paintings total? Four or five paintings. I have to look at the specifics again, but it's on their website, which I'll list below. Um, and then obviously the most crafts and extras, and that one I think is, is it a hundred bucks a month? I, again, I gotta look all this up, but, um, let me find the info real quick and I'll open this box. So, um, I wanted to try the artist box for Christmas, I kind of upgraded to that, I was getting the members box, which I was happy with, but I wanted to get a few more little extras just for Christmas, um, so let's dig in. So this came wrapped like this in bubble wrap, and then there was uh, a thin plastic outer one, but these are very sturdy boxes. I have to cut this. Okay. They're actually so sturdy that I, once, once you use the traps that was loud, and diamond paintings in them, I would save them to store things. You could wrap this in wrapping paper. Oh, this is a pretty green color for Christmas. Um, you could wrap this in wrapping paper and be a nice gift box. Um, so yeah, definitely not tossing these boxes until they're much more worn and got their full use. So these are hinge boxes. Ooh, okay, I lied. Sometimes they're hinge boxes. Okay, so so you just pop the lid off, and here's all our fun stuff inside. Uh, you usually get two kits. They're nice kits with uh, the really good tweezers, uh, nice diamond painting pens, and wax and a wide white tray. So not the basic ones there. Um, they're pretty good range. Made in China. Oh, this is a cover minder. Um, let's see which one I got. I have to use my knife here to get it open. This reminds me of uh, the little eggs you get out of the quarter machine at the grocery store and they would have some random toy in it and you just got them to see which one you would get. This one. Okay, so we're gonna unwrap. Oh, these are, oh my gosh, there's several. Oh, uh, there's six and they're super cute. They're like little kind of cupcake desserts with frosting and a little heart on top. Wow, I didn't know we'd get six of them. Okay, I thought it would just be one of those. And then, for anyone who doesn't know how cover minders work, I think that would All right. So these magnets are really strong, which is good. Let me set those aside. So you put this on your diamond painting, and you slide this one underneath your diamond painting, and it holds the cover down. Oh gosh, these are pretty. Okay, I'm already looking at the diamond paintings to see what I got. But let's look first at the crafts. So you can see here, we've got some keychains. And then those nice acrylic keychains. Um, you could use these as ornaments too. And then the special diamonds, so we'll get a closer look at that. Oh, this is a craft. Oh, it's... No, this is a diamond painting. Oh, okay, this is mine. It's just drills for one of the diamond paintings, which looks like an angel. It's, I really like that one. That one's cool. Here's more. Oh, it's Santa and reindeer. And I'll, we'll get a closer look at those. Okay. And this is our biggest one. Ooh, it's pretty balloons. You know, I've been looking for a balloon painting. And um, I had a hard time finding one that I liked, but I really like that one. Okay. So those are the diamond paintings, which we will open up and look at. And then they sent you a letter saying what's inside, which is good to look at because you want to make sure they didn't miss packing anything. Um, the cutest cover minder you'll ever see. You know what? They're not wrong. Oh, this is so cute. It's a 3D wood puzzle. Um, this would be a really good thing to use extra drills on. 
It's a wood puzzle and it's got a bit of glitter on the edges. But yeah, you could definitely bling up this ornament here. Maybe some for the candy and the star. More ornaments. I would definitely put it on the ornament ones. The reindeer horns are pretty small. But you could also just put green ones on the tree if you had some green rhinestones or drills. That would be a lot of fun. So this is what it will look like completed. Well, oh, a little star at the top. I really like that. That's so cute. I don't know why I like little wooden kits. Like, what am I going to do with that? But that's that's pretty cute. Maybe you could turn that into an advent calendar somehow. Make um, oh, make little things that would stick to that. Or I wonder if you can make cover minders. If they had a strong enough magnet, they might stick to the underside of that. Let me test that theory. Okay. And our last craft is this stocking with special drills and Santa. So let's actually start with this. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, so this is pretty cute. It is actually a stocking. I thought it was just like one of those partials that look like a stocking. But you can see if they send you two sides, and this is obviously the middle. You cut this out, cut along the edge of the pattern, and then it's really hard to see. But okay, so it says here the blue color is the embroidery. So that's where you sew it together. And you can see these little blue dots. That's where you would sew it. Um, so that's cute. It's it's small for an actual stocking, but we might use it for the cats. Because <laughs> they don't need much. We can put a little few cat treats in there. Or you could um, hang it up as a decorative stocking with a garland. Um, just add it to your Christmas decor and put a little few ornaments in the top poking out. Uh, but yeah, I like the... I like that. I like that idea. Okay. Let's look at the drills for this one. And you got another, uh, oh, there's a sewing kit. You got another tray, and uh, this is more of the basic one. And then they send you red thread and a needle to sew it together, and a needle threader. So for this one, we have a mix of regular resin and special drills. And you can see here, we have some bigger red rhinestone drills. And that's going to go like his nose. Uh, oh, this is number eight. And then this is number nine, which is just a deeper garnet red color. These are actually cabochons, which means they're rounded and these are faceted. So number nine goes here in his nose and the present. Just a couple of those. Where's number eight go? Okay, number eight is highlighting up here in Merry Christmas. So you're kind of ending the letters with that. Um, and then we have, these are not DMC colors, or at least they don't have codes. We have a nice Christmas red. Um, these both look white to me, but I guess number three is a little more like, oh, it's an AB. Okay, okay. So here we have winter white, it's probably 5200. And here we have an AB drill which was hard to see, but you can just catch some of that EB coating on there. Then we have a bright yellow one that's going on the present in his belt buckle. And we have a lavender, Christmas green, and then uh, a brown color. It's probably that coffee brown color. So that's really cute and fun. Um, Someone was talking about another brand is selling Christmas stockings. I looked at them and they were kind of 30 bucks a piece. I was like, I don't know, for something, I'm not sure where I'm going to hang it because we don't, we have a fireplace, but it's not the kind you can hang stockings on because there's a built-in around it. <laughs> um, so we haven't hung stockings at our house. We go to my mom's house Christmas morning anyway, and that's where we hang our stockings. But... Um, for something that's just would be decorative at my house, 30 bucks seem like a lot. Uh, but this is a really cute one. It's a bit smaller. It's certainly a relatively quick project. Um, and I think I will probably do this one and, and hang it up as part of my Christmas decorations this year. All right, let's move on to the next craft. This one's really fun. These are keychains. I love diamond painting keychains, even though, I mean, I can't use more than one at a time. I just think they're really fun. It's a really great craft for kids. It's a fun party craft. Um, if you have some kids to keep busy this winter, this would be a good one. These are good for gift tags. Um, just a little stocking stuffer. I mean, just so many uses, and they are double-sided. So they're like an acrylic plastic, and then 
you paint both sides of it so you can hang it up. You can hang these up as ornaments as well. I'm definitely going to hang the Christmas tree one as an ornament. Probably that penguin. Maybe the bells. Maybe all of them. I'm not sure. I'm going to hang like half of these as ornaments and put half as gift tags. I don't know. Okay, we'll figure that out. They come with these cute little chains. And then you get the basic diamond painting kit as well. They aren't short term diamond painting kits. And these are all special drills. There's no resin drills here. There's also no DMC cards, so we're going to look at them from the back. We have a bigger silver crystal clear rhinestone. A larger... Yep, it's faceted. Sometimes I have to look close to see if it's faceted or cabochon. But here we have some garnet red. And these are bigger rhinestones. They're not like the um, usual 2.8 millimeter size. Bright pink. And the golden yellow. Vibrant green, aquamarine, or maybe a light turquoise, nice sapphire blue, peachy orange color. Oh, these are so cute! I love the stars. These are even bigger crystal rhinestones. They're called ice sometimes. Uh, even bigger ruby red ones. Big yellow ones. Big green ones. Oh, they're a nice forest green too. Big turquoise color. And then we had these little teardrops with a kind of pearlized AB coating. We have some faceted teardrops in the forest green. Uh, some sapphire blue teardrops. And these golden yellow teardrops. Get a little bit more on the front. So a lot of fun, fun, um, Special drills there, and you can see the stars go on this Christmas tree and this tree. Um, they have a round one at the top of this, but I think I would put another one of those stars if there are any left over. Like, why would you put a round one? You can have a star. But yeah, super cute. I really like this craft, um, and this is a, definitely a fun thing to do with family and friends. Even if all your friends are grown up, get some wine, get some holiday punch, get some tea or coffee going, um, and sit around and just chat and paint these, and that would be a lot of fun. Okay, we're going to look more closely at that wooden tree. Okay, so this calls it a Christmas puzzle tree, and there are assembly instructions on this side, but if you want it to be a true puzzle, you ditch those and just figure it out. Um, there's a snowflake. What does that go to? It's not my star. Hmm. I can't figure that out. I don't see it in the picture. Okay, that's kind of weird. Oh, it's the base for the tree. <laughs> okay, so you can see here we have the tree and then this is the other painted side. The tree is plain, but you're going to cover it with these bits. Um, but you could paint it green if you really wanted to. Punch this out. This is the base and we have our little um, buckets that go around the bottom and it comes with the star already on the top although only one side is painted so again I would paint that other side it's gonna be sticking out um, and then we have pretty green ones that are already painted with some nice glittery paint at the bottom but I'm gonna test one of these cover liners let me see if I can free one because these magnets are so strong they don't want to come apart once you get them free they'll be good but when they're all together they are sticking together like glue. There it goes. Okay. Take this cover minder. Put it on here. Oh, that's good. So this would be a really fun advent calendar. And what you could do is make little ornaments like these cover minders. I mean, you can get these magnets at craft stores, um, anywhere. And, I mean, AliExpress sells a whole bunch of them for cheap. But yeah, I got like hundred of them for maybe eight bucks um, and then you just glue it on with Gorilla Glue or hot glue and they're really strong so this would be a really cute idea because there are actually 12 you do a lot of them are the 12 days before Christmas but if you want to do the 24 days before Christmas obviously you could do an ornament on each side and put one on this side as well um, which may be how I use this I don't know I I have already actually a Harry Potter pop-up Christmas tree advent calendar because I'm that big a nerd, but um, I like I love advent calendars and can't get enough of them, but my husband wants them all to be made out of chocolate. 
Um, so this could just be a puzzle. This could be an advent calendar. But either way, I think it's a lot of fun. I love the little wooden crafts that pop together. And I think this was a really fun addition to the Christmas box. All right, let's look at the paintings now. Okay, so our first painting is the Santa with reindeer in the sky. Really cute scene, nice and wintry. Um, I don't know, I just always love when reindeer are included. So before we look at the drills for this one, I'm gonna peel this back so we can see the rendering. And I think this is pretty good. So um, when you're talking about diamond paintings, it's never gonna be like a painting painting or a photograph. This is an art medium and kind of like watercolors, it's going to be softer. It's not going to have sharp lines unless you get a giant diamond painting because um, you're basically making small mosaics. Um, so I see a lot of complaints about it. it's a little blurry. It's a you can absolutely tell what this is. That's the point of this art and uh, the, the diamonds give it a shimmer that you're not going to get with any other art medium. Um, so I like it. Could this be a size bigger? Yeah. Um, it's, it's still got a nice effect as it is, and it does kind of come across as um, almost an, op an impressionist painting of Santa and his reindeer, which I expect with diamond art. You really have to think about the medium you're working with and what the picture is um, uh, for the size. And so I see people get giant paintings because they want everything to be crystal clear. But honestly, for me, that's not what this art medium is about. If I want it to be crystal clear, I'll get a photo printed out in a giant size. Um, but I like impressionism, I like mosaics, and so that's part of what appealed to this um, craft for me. So, as you can see, um, it, it looks really cute. And I, I've got some yellow ABs, and I said this in an, um, the October unboxing. I really wish Easy Win would start doing a few ABs because these windows here would really pop with the, the nighttime lights. Um, and, and just be so cute with ABs, but you know, you can order your own from other companies. I have extras for some other projects, so I'll probably include that for this one. Uh, but here you can see what the rendering looks like. Get a little bit closer. There's Santa. There's his reindeer. Um, the lines aren't super sharp, but you absolutely know what this is. You're not guessing about what is this. So, um, and plus the paintings, they always look better through the camera lens because you're viewing it like it's meant to be viewed. You're not supposed to be right up on top of a Renoir looking at every little paint dot. You're supposed to view it from a few feet back. And, and that's the same with these as well. You get a better impression of the painting if you're standing a few feet back. So, um, I like it. That's my PSA about diamond paintings just because I see a lot out there. Oh, it's kind of blurry and there are some images that are just not going to work at this size they are just going to be too detailed and they will be too pixelated and blurry but you have to keep in mind what's the medium you're working with you can't expect to get oil painting results with a watercolor and so you have to kind of think that way with diamond painting as well so let's get a closer look at those drills um, this is a round I did you can specify just rounds you can specify just squares but I asked for a mix because I like them both and you can see the color palette here. We've got some bright pops of kind of cheery colors, but then we've got all these soft grays and blues for night colors. Um, so I think it's a good mix. And um, there's 25 colors for this one. It's a 30 by 40. And I'm gonna measure that real quick. They've always been true to size so far for me, but um, just for people's curiosity, I like to measure them. And that is definitely 30 going down. And a little over one up, it's right at 40. It's 40 going across. Push it up there. So let's look at these colors. Um, these, this has been, this is your inventory sheet. And, and it has been coming, uh, I've written all the colors down the side that you can see here. I tell you the DMC code and how many you will need for the painting. And then you just trust you have as many as you need. And usually you have more. And these were coming rolled up with the painting, but now they're coming folded in with the drills. Um, and I think that's a good idea, because the drills had the number. They had a sticker with this code on it. Um, so I can see how people could easily get it mixed up. Or if you took them out and put them in another bag. I always
always put um, the inventory sheet with the picture in it if I put it in another bag so I know exactly what it is. But I think it's a good idea to fold this up because um, they were also really hard to unroll. <laughs> Something simple as that. So, uh, let me come in closer. And number one is DMC 152 Dark Tawny. Two is DMC 159 Light Petrol Blue. Three is 318 Light Steel Gray. So you see, even though with the dark colors in this painting, we skip right over 310. Number four is 327 Violet. Number five, fair bit of that, is 341 Light Blue Violet. It really looks like a gray, but it's a nice, it does have hints of blue and violet to it. Number six is 414 Dark Steel Gray. Number seven is DMC 553 Violet. It's a bit light for violet to my eyes, but so be it. Number eight is 606 Bright Orange Red. Nine is 712 Cream. Fair bit of number 10, so it's probably a lot of that night sky. And this one is 792 Dark Cornflower Blue. Number 11 is 814 Dark Garnet. Really nice garnet color. Number 12 is 815 Medium Garnet. 13 is 820 Very Dark Coral Red. I'm sorry, 817 Very Dark Coral Red. 14 is 820 and it is very dark royal blue. That's a really nice blue there. 15 is 921 copper. 16 is 927 light green gray. Definitely think that nails it. 17 is 938 ultra dark coffee brown. So if you don't have 310 a lot of times you want it with 939 which is what this is. And 939 is very dark navy blue. And it looks black, but if you held it up to the three tins, you could you would see the hints of blue a bit more. Number 19 is 3743, very light antique violet. A fair bit of number 20 for the evening sky. And this one is 3746 dark blue violet. 21 is 3753 Ultra Very Light Antique Blue. Number 22 is 3834 Dark Grape. 23 is 3853 Dark Autumn Gold. 24 is 3858 Medium Rosewood. And lastly, number 25 is 3861 Light Cocoa. So fun painting, definitely fitting for this box. Um, I, again, I like it. Um, it's something that if I was looking for a Christmas painting, I might pick this out, but um, it's always fun to kind of have a surprise in your box. So let me put this one away and we're gonna look at our second Christmas painting. I didn't show you the first one, but just so you know, in case you haven't seen it, these come kind of shrink wrapped in a very crunchy, crinkly plastic and there's a, a foam core in the center. So I am going to free this one off screen. So this is rolled really tight. You can see it just wants to pop back. And I'm just pulling out the corners of this. And this, you have to be careful when you're pulling up, especially if you have nails, not to pull up this double-sided tape because sometimes those corners are going to come up with this. And then I've seen so many posts of people saying, um, my canvas isn't sticky. And a lot of times what's happened, um, that's what was holding it close, um, is they pulled up that double-sided tape along with the canvas, which I don't know how they did that because you have to pull pretty hard to pull the double-sided tape off. And I know because I've totally pulled the double-sided tape off of, um, of some of them. So um, I'm probably going to wind up turning this one sideways so I'll the camera. Um, but I'm going to get the drills out and we'll take a closer look. All right, let me take a look at this rendering, but I'll probably have to turn it sideways so you can see the whole thing. And this is really pretty. You know what? I did order fairies and dragons, and I'm just seeing that this is like an angel with a little white dragon. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Um, so this is definitely wintry, and this is good 
because not everyone's into Christmas. Or sometimes I like winter decorations that aren't necessarily straight up Christmas decorations. You can leave this one up until March, you know, leave it up through the winter. Um, or leave it up all year round. But if, if you're going for, you know, seasonal painting, this one would last through the holiday season and into the winter. Um, so this is another 30 by 40 and I really like blue so this painting does appeal to me. I like this contrast of the white against the darker blue and then you get the lighter blues and kind of teals in between um, some of the shading. So really cute. Again, it's not an image I would have probably shopped for and bought myself but I really like that they, they included this because I do enjoy it. Um, I'm going to get the drills out, cover this back up, and we'll take a closer look at those blues. So here you can see the color palette, grays, a lot of blues, and we've got some sea green and turquoises, so I really like this. Uh, this is such a cool painting, and I actually have another painting, um, kind of a bluish background, it's a lady in a forest, a sort of medieval dress, and she's has a little white dragon handing her holly. I think these would be really two cute um, wintertime companion pieces to hang next to each other. So here's a close-up of the original artwork. Someone is very creative. I would not have thought of painting an angel, holding a dragon. I, I don't know. So cute. Okay, so let's look at the drills. These ones are square. Again, there's 25 colors for 30 by 40. I'm not going to measure this one. It looks exactly the same as the other size, so I trust that it is pretty much 30 by 40. And uh, sometimes you get 30 colors with these, but 25 is a pretty good number of colors for this size. Let me bring you in a little bit closer for some better light. And number one is DMC 169, and this is Peter Gray. Number two is 311 Medium Blue. Number three is 517 Dark Wedgwood. And I'm seeing that the backs of these squares are very flat, which is good. Everything looks good quality. I've never gotten any drills from them that looked bad. Um, it can always happen, but you know, my experience has been good. Number four is DMC 613, a very light drab brown. Looks like a really kind of sandy tan there. Light, really light. Uh, number five is 640, and this one is very dark beige gray. Six is 648 light beaver gray. Beaver gray always has a brownish tinge to the gray. Number seven is 712 green. Number eight is 775 very light baby blue. Nine is 794 light cornflower blue. Is 799 medium delft blue. Number 11 is 807. This is a fun color peacock blue. There's a decent amount of that one. I like that. Number 12 is 813, just light blue. Lot of number 13, which is 820, very dark royal blue. 14 is 823, which is dark navy blue. 15 is 841 light beige brown. 16 is 931 medium antique blue. 17 is 964 light sea green. 18 is 3033 very light mocha brown. 19 is 3051 dark green gray. You can see it's more on the green side. Number 20 is 3752 very light antique blue. 21 in contrast to number 19 is 3768 dark gray green. So just to keep you up on these colors, this is dark green gray, this is dark gray green. So funny. Different colors to be sure of. Number 22 is 37.99 Very Dark Peter. 23 is 38.11 Very Light Turquoise. One straggler. 24 is 38.16 Celadon Green. I think that's how it's pronounced. Caledon Green? 
Celadon? Celadon? I don't know. And number 25 is 3865 Winter White. So really a nice, calming, soothing palette. Um, for me, the picture's uplifting. Again, I really like it. And I like the color palette. The drills look good. I noticed that there's like small holes in these bags. And I think that that probably keeps them from getting staticky. Because you get air movement in there. And then you don't have to worry about the drills frictioning and they're holding all that friction in. There's a release for it with these little holes. Uh, so probably a good idea. I've noticed that lately. And I like that these are bagged and not in the crinkly plastic bags. Which, they're fine. You get good drills in those. But it is easier to deal with them when they come in these bags. Alright, we're going to look at our last and largest painting. And probably come out of the Christmas mood a bit. Because I know it's not specifically a Christmas one. But that's okay. The paintings are not always um, the theme of the box. The paintings are the theme that you choose, which I have fairy and dragons and then landscapes, I think. Nature and landscapes. So let's look at our last painting. So this is a larger painting. It is a 40 by 50. And here is a picture of the artwork. Really pretty set of hot air balloons with a nice backdrop. Sometimes there's so many hot air balloons in the paintings, you can't see the backdrop. So I like that I can see the backdrop, but there's enough colorful balloons and there's, you can even see enough for a rainbow. So I'm gonna, uh, oh, I ripped that earlier. If you don't do it carefully, especially the bigger the painting gets, the more easy it is to kind of rip it. You can just see how vibrant the colors are. Um, the rainbow gets a little bit lost in translation, but um, see it coming down over there? You know what it is in any case. It's just kind of what a single golden yellow, so I might change some of those drills. Um, this one's also a square, but just really, really fun um, painting. So we had a Christmas one, we had a winter one, and now we've moved on to just regular diamond paintings. And I think that's a good mix, you know? I think they're trying to make everyone happy. Um, I don't have it quite at the top. So this is why I try to do it with the paper on, but then it's not as interesting to look at. Oh, come on now. Okay, so it's at the top. We're coming down here, we're hitting 40. Okay, this one across the bottom. Not quite as sticky. And here, it's hard to see because we've got the paper on. And it's definitely 50 centimeters here. So, true to size, a nice rendering, really, really colorful, very vibrant. And let's get a closer look because these are going to be some colorful drills to look at. Okay, so you see here we have a pretty broad color palette going on, um, a lot of different colors for these hot air balloons, and, um, and missing number 34, and sometimes I find it when I'm packing up, but um, I really looked everywhere and I can't find it. I can write to Easy Whim and they will absolutely send it to me, but I can see from my inventory that I only need 64 of it, so I'm probably just going to look at my other kits. Um, if I don't have any of my other kits, I'll write to them. I'm not doing this right away, so I have plenty of time to wait for it to come in the mail. But let's get a closer look at the fun colors. Number one is DMC 159, and that is light petrol blue. Bring this down here. Number two is 160, medium petrol blue. Three is 161, dark petrol blue. I like the petrol blues, and I'm not sure why. Uh, number four is 336, which is just blue, but this is definitely a, like a deep blue color. This is not like what I call crayon blue, which you would get out of the basic 8 crayon pack. But still a nice blue. Number five is 349 dark coral. Six is 452 medium shell gray. Number seven is 524 very light fern green. Number 8 is 550, very dark violet. Number 9 is 611, drab brown. 
kind of a khaki brown color. Number 10 is 613, very light drab brown. 11 is 645, very dark beaver gray. 12 is 745, a light pale yellow. Number 13 is 778, very light antique mauve. Number 14 is 782, dark topaz. 15 is 783, medium topaz. It's a lot, it's more of a golden brownish yellow. It's coming out a lot lighter on my viewfinder. Number 16 is 830, dark golden olive. 17 is 834, very light golden olive. Number 18 is 902, very dark garnet. Like that one. Number 19, this is a fun color, 917, medium plum. Number 20 is 928, very light green gray. 21 is 948, very light peach. 22 is 3022, medium brown gray. Number 23 is 3362, dark pine green. A lot of number 24, so this is a predominant color. And this one is uh, DMC 3371, black brown. Number 25 is 3860, oh, I'm sorry, 3699, light mauve. This is 3731, very dark, dusty rose. 27 is 3733, dusty rose. Number 28 is 3747, very light blue violet. 29 is 3756, baby blue, but this is, baby blue is listed a number of times in the DMC codes, I don't get it. And this is almost like a light blue mint green. Or super light turquoise? I don't know. Uh, third, uh, yeah, number 30 is 3776, light mahogany. 31 is 3777, and that one is very dark terracotta. 32 is 3807, cornflower blue. 33 is 3827, pale golden brown. And since I don't have 34 light grape, you can imagine it's a light purpley color. Uh, number 3861 is light cocoa. Here we go, we have all our fun colors for the balloons. Take a look at their website. And I hope you all have fun, safe, healthy holidays. Um, and keep on extra sparkling this holiday season.